Hey everybody, it's Randy with Carchaeology, and I've got something I want to get off my chest, and well, damn it, I've got a YouTube channel, and I can do that. So hear me out. If you're one of those people that thinks that Barrett Jackson and the car TV shows and all of that are ruining the collector car industry for the common man, I think you're full of crap. And hear me out, this is why. Sure, I can see where you're coming from. You go to these auctions, you see some cool old Chevy truck sell for $300,000. It's hard not to get a little bummed out that you can't afford one of those things, to feel like you're priced out of the market. Well, wah, wah, wah. There's a lot of stuff in this world that I can't afford, and I don't go around bitching about it. I deal with the cars that I can't afford, and I have a damn good time with it, and I've built some pretty neat stuff on a real budget here in my own shop, and you can too. Also, I think seeing these prices at auction are an incredible thing for the car industry. Not only does it build some hype for our industry, it shows that it is alive and booming. We're seeing returns for these builders that are putting this hard effort into building these cars. We're seeing returns for the people that are putting the money behind it to invest in it. We're seeing that inspire more builds and more of the same, which feeds the industry. It feeds the people that are passionate about building these cars. It feeds all the suppliers that build the parts for these cars, all of the paint suppliers and masking tape and all the different stuff that goes into building a car. All of that gets fed by a booming industry that we witness every single year at Barrett-Jackson and other shows. So please, shut your mouth. You are not looking past the nose on your face if you think that high prices at collector car auctions are a bad thing. It just means that you're a whiny ass and you're complaining about the stuff that you can't afford. There's a lot of stuff you can't afford. Look out there on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or wherever. There are a boatload of cars that you can buy for a couple of grand that you can fix up in your garage and turn into something cool. The car industry is not a rich man's hobby. It's not. Cheap stuff happens all the time. Yes, you're not going to end up with a Chevy truck that sells for 300 grand if you don't have the money to put into it to make that happen. But... I guarantee, with a little effort, some busted knuckles, some grease under your nails, and some good old hard labor, and some ingenuity, you too can take a pile of crap and turn it into something cool, and have a car that you can be proud of. And you might even be able to make a few bucks off of it if you run it through one of these auctions. So there you go. There's my rant. Take it as you will. I would absolutely look forward to seeing your comments down below. Tell me if I'm full of crap. I know I probably am, but this is what I feel every single time I see somebody post that Barrett Jackson is ruining it for everybody. Bullshit. Thanks for watching. Keep on digging them up and driving them. Bye-bye.